I think being Hmong first, um, I remember reading a book, being Hmong means being free. And I used to think that that was very cliche, but the more I learned about myself and my family and my culture and my history, I began to realize that I think that's true. I think being Hmong is somewhat of being free, but being free of others' perceptions of you or of others, you know, attempts to assimilate you or attempts to put pressure on you. I feel like being Hmong is to resist, really. That's what I think of. Being Hmong is to be resilient because when I think of Hmong history, We've never had our own country or our homeland that we can really call or claim as our own, right? And I think that that's very significant too to Hmong people and Hmong history is that we were first in like Southern China and then we immigrated to Laos and then, you know, then to Thailand and then to the US. And I think that that's something that's very unique about us is that it's hard to pin a place to where we're from. Everyone asks me, where are you really from? And then I'm like, I'm from California. And everyone's like, where are your parents from? And I'm like, they're from Laos, but they're not Laotian either.